IP version 4, or IPv4, is the fourth iteration of the Internet Protocol responsible for routing the majority of current Internet traffic. It uses 32-bit addresses and provides the foundation for routing data packets between networks. The protocol assigns a unique numerical IP address to each device or domain connected to the Internet and enables devices such as computers and phones to exchange data on the Internet. In the 1990s, as the Internet grew rapidly, it became clear that IPv4's 32-bit address space would soon be exhausted. We would actually run out of IP addresses. The Internet Engineering Task Force, or IETF, began exploring alternatives, including a new protocol with a larger address space. IPv6 was heralded as a solution, offering a much larger address space, 128-bit versus 32-bit, a simplified header format, and other improvements. Key milestones in the IPv6 adoption are as follows. So, if IPv6 was a solution to an imminent problem, why are we still mostly using IPv4 today? IPv6 adoption at the end user site in 2022 was measured to be between 30 and 40 percent globally, though with large differences between regions and countries. Here are some reasons why IPv6 adoption has been slower than expected or hoped. IPv6 was simply an expansion of IP with larger addresses and didn't change how IP operates or add any features not already present in IPv4. The development of IPv6 was driven by a fear that the world would run out of IP addresses and that this would stifle the growth of the Internet. However, this fear did not immediately materialize, so there was no pressing need to transition. The explosion in mobile Internet usage created an unprecedented demand. Network providers had to choose between scaling their networks or deploying IPv6. They chose to scale. Technologies like Network Address Translation, or NAT, allowed more devices to connect to the Internet without requiring a unique IP address. These technologies, along with the adoption of transport layer security, made it possible to continue using IPv4 effectively, reducing the urgency to switch to IPv6. Since most content was still delivered over IPv4, network operators didn't see a need to switch to IPv6. Upgrading existing network infrastructure to support IPv6 requires significant financial investment, especially for larger networks. Network administrators often lack the necessary training and skills to manage IPv6, making them hesitant to transition. Smaller businesses often don't have the financial resources to invest in upgrading their infrastructure to support IPv6. With the rise of content delivery networks, or CDNs, content and services are increasingly delivered using domain names, not IP addresses. This means that having a large pool of IP addresses, which was the main advantage of IPv6, is no longer seen as critical as it once was. The trend of moving functionality from networks to applications reduces the importance of the underlying network infrastructure, including the version of IP being used. Now, while IPv6 adoption has been slower than initially expected, it's steadily increasing. However, it's unlikely that IPv4 will be completely replaced anytime soon. The Internet will likely continue to run on both IPv4 and IPv6 for many years to come. Hey, thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time.